In this video, I'm going to show you, or yeah, I'm going to show you how to use the solid draw and and revolve option in Corel CAD. I'm still new. Uh, I'm still new learning the Corel CAD software and and while I was playing around with it, and I saw the option revolve, which is really uh, a good option in Corel CAD 3D. Anyway, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to insert uh, a reference image, which is the, um, it's a chess piece. Okay, So it's actually this one. Uh, it's a line drawing, but I'm going to make this a 3D object. So the original one is this one here, and then the, the second one is this one, which we're going to insert. Uh, the first one has it it's not it's not transparent the opacity is 100 percent and what i did here in corel photo paint is that i i made it uh, a little bit transparent and you know you will know why later on okay so so i'm going to click on this second one and click on open so once you click on open it's going to ask you for a specific insertion point so the insertion point is 0, 0, 0, which means to say it's going to insert it in this side of the graphics area, in that point there, zero, that's 0, comma 0. And the scale factor is 1. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll make it 2 here, so it's like double the size, because this I know this image is small. And I click OK. okay. And then suddenly it will go here. Now the only problem here is that my color scheme is, my graphics area is black and then my lines, if you look at this one, would be white, right? Hit escape, delete that. Okay. So if I'm recreating this or I'm going to trace this image, if I'm going to use my line, let's say here, the problem is it's difficult to see because it's white. Right, the lines is white. So what I'll do here is I'm going to change the display to white. I mean the graphics area to white. White, And in order to do that, you go right mouse click and go to options. And then you click on system option. Go to display element color, colors. And you look for model background, which is this one. We'll make it white. And then click apply. And click OK. So my lines now, when I draw my lines, it would be it would be black. Okay. So delete that. Okay, so now we're ready to uh, to trace this. We're not we're not actually tracing, but uh, we're going to recreate the shapes. Okay. But first of all, what we're going to do here is we're going to create a we're going to put an infinite line. Okay, that's our guide because we know that this is symmetrical. So I'm going to click on my uh, infinite line and look for a point. Okay, there. I need escape to end the command. If I'm going to zoom in here, so basically it should mean the center of my my chest piece. Well, what I'll do here, I'm going to create a circle first. Uh, okay, just to close to the size of this one here. I'm going to resize it a little bit and more. Okay. Oops. Okay. Let's say that's that'll be good for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, move this um, this infinite line to the center of of the circle. So I know that that will be the center. Of the circle. Okay. Now I'm ready to, to to draw the rest. So what I'll do, I'm just going to create a rectangle and make it here. Right there. Don't worry too too much about this part here because we're going to we are going to trim those lines here. It's okay too if you intersect that. Yes, that's fine. We're going to trim that later. So here, 
and we go down click click here and one more one more okay so right mouse click zoom right mouse click zoom to fit okay so now what we're going to do here is we're going to create a spline here so you go to your spline tool which is this one and then command line set command window says specify start starting point so I click here okay it's going to turn there 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 then hit enter three times one two three okay and if you're not happy with the spline you can always um, edit it better zoom in there okay so I think we need one more spline over here and then we're done we're done with the basic shape so spline uh, click here here, here, there. One, two, three. So if I click on here, I can still edit the spline. Okay, looks good to me. So I'm going to look at my object now. Hit escape. Okay, so to zoom to zoom 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 to fit okay so that's good so now the next thing we have to do is we're going to fillet this you know this uh, this corners here so we go to fillet here and then click and then command windows so specify first entry or polyline multiple polyline radius so i'll type in r for radius hit enter uh, default is zero so we have to put something there i'll start with point zero five okay hit enter and then it says specify first entry so i'm going to st start with this one and then this is the second one okay it's good so now you do it again so if you want to repeat the command you have uh, you can also right mouse click and repeat fillet so this and this I mouse click repeat fillet this one and this one and we'll just do this part here right mouse click repeat fillet this one and this one okay and then here let's say you want to make a bigger radius here so what I'll do is click on fillet uh, type in R for radius and then we'll just put their point zero seven hit enter now we're ready to do click and click right mouse click repeat fillet this one and this one here now we'll go down let's see if we can okay so we can fillet that still so right mouse click repeat fillet one two right mouse click one and two and it will just make that straight that's fine now we're so we're we're done with the shape what we're going to do is we're going to trim those uh, those lines so we're going to click on trim here just the scissors icon and then we're going to hit enter and then we're going to delete the lines that we don't want so make sure to zoom in oops to remove all the unnecessary lines that this one this one this one okay so this this oh yeah okay this one and okay and this one okay so this one here we'll just manually de delete this this lines here delete and this one I'm going to manually delete this oh. so delete that actually you have to do it 
this this one and so this one is connected so we can't really delete that well we have to trim that first so trim hit enter and then I'm going to get that this one there and then I can delete that okay so now we can delete the the picture I mean the image so we'll delete that so we only have this one here Okay. so I'm going to delete this uh, infinite line we don't need that anymore and uh, and okay so so we're done so the next thing we have to do is we have to go to solid draw revolve okay so it's a symmetric or symmetrical object so we click on revolve and the command window says specify entities so we're just going to make a window so saying that's the entity entity so hit enter and then the command window is asking for another thing it's the starting start point for axis so we're going to choose this point here and this point here okay now the next thing that the command window is asking for is specify angle of revolution so we want it 360 degrees right so we'll just hit enter because the default is 360 there enter and there you go okay now if we go to view uh, we go to 3d views uh, SW isometric we have a 3d version of the of a chess piece which is really good and if you want we can click on view and you can hide to see the actual piece okay. now we're, we're, we're done with the modeling the chess piece um, the only thing here because if we click on view and we go to 3d views and we click on front view okay so our front view is not the front view okay it's it's the it's the bottom piece of the chess chest piece so what we're going to do we're going to go to view we're going to go to the right and then we're going to rotate this and make it stand up so we go to rotate which is this one here click in that specify entity so I'm just going to select that and it's asking us the pivot point it's going to choose this one here and then it's asking us for a rotation angle so I just type in 90 hit enter okay. there you go okay. so now we're ready to render this so we go to tools render plugin and then let's see uh, how would how would it look like when we render it so it's a product it's not architectural so we click on product and uh, We'll just wait. There you go. You got the form ready. And there you go. It's very nice. Okay. So that's the thing. That's how you model it. Okay. Now if you want to put backgrounds, click on background here and say this background there. Or this one here or this. And then we can also change the material. So let's say what material we want here. This one here. Okay. And we also have an option to to see the a good uh, rendition. So if you click on this, and you will see that, that it, will, it will render it nicely. Okay. So if you go to so let's experiment here. Let's say click on this one. Go like that. There, and you click on this. And you can see that you is a very nice rendition of the chess piece. So that's that's it. Very nice. Very nice piece. And then you can also experiment experiment on the materials here.